In this tutorial, I'm going to explain how we can actually extend combined standard uncertainties. So what have we done be, uh, so far? Uh, we have learned that we can combine standard uh, uncertainties. So if we've got addition uh, and uh, subtraction, so addition, subtraction, we can form a combined standard uncertainty by just simply taking the square root of the individual absolute uh, squares of uncertainties if we have multiplication or division we will get the combined uncertainty and we get a relative uncertainty when we use the relative uncertainties and the square of these and I indicate that with an R and so on and so forth uh, and we can do several combinations but what actually will happen when we form combined uncertainties so let's assume we have uh, a measurement A uh, with its uncertainty and a measurement B with its uncertainty and we want to calculate what is A minus B let's call that X plus minus the combined uncertainty and we know how we can do that that's uh, very easy so you see in this case would be the combined absolute squares of the uncertainties so that's 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 easy but this uncertainty here shows a certain distribution uh, what does that mean well if we've got uh, this value here it means we have anything from a minus u1 to a plus u1 and likewise for b we have anything from b minus u2 to b plus u2 and because that these are our uncertainties so if we calculate um, the uh, difference between a minus b a minus b we might get uh, something where both of our uncertainties are negative but it doesn't happen very often likewise we might get uncertainties where both of our uncertainties are positive but it doesn't happen very often quite Often, however, we will find that the uh, uncertainties will sort of cancel each other out. We might get a negative uncertainty or an, an, a negative part for A, but we might get a positive for B. So if we add them together, these things, what we will get for the uncertainties, for the combined uncertainty, we get a sort of a probability function. And this probability function uh, looks a little bit like that so that we get both the lower side of a is unlikely or not terribly likely and that we get the higher side of the use is also not terribly likely the middle of that that would be our a minus b and what we see here this looks pretty much like a normal distribution and in fact whenever we do distribution whenever we combine uncertainties there is a really good chance that we end up with this normal distribution of our of our errors uh, we could also get the same thing for a plus b or a times b or a uh, divided uh, by b and combinations of this so we would get our combined uncertainties are usually uh, forming a normal distribution and uh, a normal distribution is of course 
characterized by its midpoint, that's the A minus B, and then it depends on how fat this distribution is, actually. Let's do it this way. And in fact, this, this area here, this would be one of our combined uncertainties. So this here and this here is a combined, uh, this combined uncertainty, the combined standard uncertainty. So the area under this curve here, and I'll draw it like that, this would be the one standard, one standard, I probably shouldn't say it, I couldn't call it a uh, standard one, yeah, let's call it one standard combined uncertainty range. Uncertainty range. And this bit here is our combined uncertainty, combined standard uncertainty. So this one and this one. Now, if it is indeed a normal distribution, we know that within one standard deviation, so within one, within one times uc, we cover, and that is a characteristic of a normal distribution, we cover about 68% of uh, all possibilities. So the area under this curve, so this, this shaded bit here, this contains 68% of the data. So here's again the normal curve with our value for the, the measurement, the combined measurement, and here is our standard uh, deviation in a way which contains 68%. But what if we want more than 68%? Well, we know that if we expand this, if we, if we do another UC, it's probably here somewhere, so you see here, and we expand it in this direction as well. You see here. Then we have two UCs. That's the two UC range in both directions. And this now, and let me shade this black. This would now cause. Uh, this would now cover 95% of our uh, uncertainties, of the possible uncertainties. So what we can do is we just simply multiply our combined uncertainties. So if we, which a normal one, so one uncertainty would gives, uh, give us 68%, but if we double or roughly double the UC, this would give us 95% of our uncertainties. And this is actually what we can do if we want to be more certain <laughs> about the uncertainty. We can multiply it with a coverage, coverage factor. So the coverage factor It's usually abbreviated with K. And if we want to go from a 68% coverage to 95% coverage, we just use a coverage factor of K equals 2. Well, exact value would be 1.96 something, but we can easily use 2. So let's simply say we have our measurement, which was A minus B, plus minus the combined standard uncertainties. These are the combined standard uncertainties. And here these uncertainties would cover about 68%. If we want to be more certain, we can write it as X plus minus 2 or make it 
general k times uc and this is our coverage factor and in the case if we want this to have a coverage of 95% we would choose k as 2 so we get x plus minus 2 times uc uh, and this if we are dealing with anything k times uc we would usually abbreviate that with a capital uc so we could write for example the difference between a minus b is something x plus minus uc that's the combined extended or i should rather say the other way around the extended combined uncertainties it's no longer a standard you know, uh, uh, uncertainty it's a combined extended uh, uncertainty and we would need to indicate what coverage factor we used so in this case we used k equals 2 we get a 95% confidence interval because that is what this gives us so ci and we would say that we ended up with a normal distribution and that is actually the format how we should really report our uh, uncertainty and our measurement.